Hello, I'm David Caldwell, Region Product Manager for Takeuchi for the Southeast Region. Today I'd like to go over the new TL11 R3 with you. So we'll start on the side here. The TL11 R3 is a radio lift machine. Um, we're just now releasing this machine to our dealers. So we're real excited to have it in our lineup now. Um, this machine is 107 horse gross power. Um, it features a ROC of about 2,700 pounds. So I'd like to go over here on the side here first with you and talk about our undercarriage a little bit. So we've improved the undercarriage. We put a double flange roller on the front here, which is new for us. That double flange roller helps distribute the weight on the tracks, but it also gives us a better ride because we also have a double flange roller on the back as well. All of our bottom rollers are triple flange rollers. The triple flange rollers always help us maintain two points of contact on the job. So if the customer maintains track tension properly, it's much harder to ride out of the track with this machine than some of our competitive machines that are out there with the double flange or single flange rollers. We tie this frame into our main frame. There's two, <clears throat> two supports here that tie into our main frame to give us rigidity and strength. We're also rounded on top and scalloped on the bottom, which helps us with clean out when it comes time to clean. Our drive lines and all of our li uh, lines going into the drive here are protected through the steel cover here on the side. And then we have a two speed gearbox here on the drive, which allows us to, um, this machine features a low speed, high torque mode, and then you can put it in high speed, high, uh, low torque mode. The high speed is also load sensing. So as the machine has a load put on it, it will automatically kick down into that low range, high torque mode. And once the load's reduced on the machine, it will automatically kick back into the high speed, low torque mode. So the low speed is gonna give you that extra torque when you're digging, excavating with the machine. And then the high speed travel is gonna be for traveling on the job site itself. The nomenclature on the Takeuchi loader is Takeuchi loader, 11,000 pounds, radial lift, series three. And this is again a high flow machine and we're gonna give you about 40.5 gallons per minute on the high flow circuit. Our battery is accessed through the panel that you see here. Take out the three bolts and you can remove the battery. It also gives you access to the positive terminal through this cover as well. We also have newly designed counterweight kits that are available for this machine. They're saddlebag style, and they mount where these caps are located here on the side, four caps here on the side. Underneath the right-hand tower, we have access to the washer fluid as well as the dryer for the air conditioner. When you come around to the rear of the machine, you can see we have a rear camera, and then as well on the side, you can see the cameras on the side towers as well. That's a 270 degree camera system. It gives you added safety because um, you're not only getting a rear view view of the machine of the back of the machine, but you're able to see off the side of the machine as well. So it's a really nice safety feature on the high flow machine that you see here. We open up the rear cover, then the large hood here, and you can see that opens up wide and locks into place. So it's very easy for an individual to get in here and perform his daily checks on the machine. We have a large side-by-side radi -side radiator and cooling module on the machine. This allows us to run um, various attachments on the machine very efficiently, keep the machine hydraulics running cooler and performing at a higher level. So um, we run a lot of our machines with mulchers and usually with the side-by-side -side radiator and cooling module that we have, they can run that without having to put an auxiliary cooler on top of the machine. So it's a very efficient, very effective a cooling system that we run. This cooling system can be swung out. There's two bolts that can be taken out here and here. We take those two bolts out 
this will actually swing open and you can blow off both sides of the cooler very easily. We have fuel water separator here. Operators should check that daily and if the float rises up and there's water in the fuel system, they can simply turn the pitcock and drain the water out of the fuel water separator. Dual element air cleaner. Then we have your oil fill, your dipstick, so everything's very easily accessible, your fuel filter, and then your coolant reserve tank right here on the side as well. You'll also notice with the door open, you can see the rear bumper that we have on the machine to protect the rear of the machine. It also has very large tie down points on it as well, so it makes it easy to secure the machine when you're loading it on the trailer. In the left tower, we have the hydraulic tank. And to access the hydraulic tank, you simply take the bolt out on the side, and then you can open up this access panel and you can um, add hydraulic oil to it, um, as well as access your oil filter, hydraulic oil filter in the tank. Um, you'll also see the Takeuchi Fleet Management decal on the back here, or TFM as we call it. The TFM is now free for five, five years. Um, so that's a free service that we provide the owner, the operator on the machine. They can look at machine diagnostics remotely. They can look at machine health remotely. They can also see error codes as well, but you can also set up a um, geo fence around the machine if you choose to leave it on a job site and you'll get notified if that machine goes outside that set perimeter. So it's a really nice feature that we have to give you added peace of mind. You'll notice, also notice as you look at the rear of the machine, you'll see that we have LED work lights on the, on the rear. We also have LED work lights on the front of the machine also. On the side here, you'll notice a blue cap and a green cap. The blue cap is for your depth fill. It is, it is lockable, so it is keyed. Then your fuel tank as well, the cap is keyed also. The button that you see here, one side is for your def fill, one side is for your fuel fill. If we hold this def side down, you can hear the beep. And depending on how spaced out the beep is, is how full that tank is. So as you're filling that tank, that beep will become more rapid. And then once it gets close to full, it'll be a continuous solid beep. And that'll keep you from spilling either def or uh, fuel on the job site. If you push it on the other side, that is our fuel fill. Hold it down and again, the same with the beeps. It'll be an intermittent beep and it'll get faster as it gets filled. And then once it's close to full, it'll be a solid beep. You'll notice the fenders on the side of our machine. These fenders are nice because they keep debris and material from coming up and hitting the operator's cab and possibly damaging the cab. So the fenders do serve a purpose on our machine to keep the cab protected as well. As we come around to the front, you'll notice a large tie down point underneath the loader arms here on both sides, as well as the large tie down point there on the front. If we look at our coupler block, this is a high flow machine. So you'll see the larger coupler block on this left side is your high flow side. You also have a K-strain standard, and then the smaller couplers are for your standard flow. So standard flow is gonna be about 23 gallons a minute. High flow is gonna be about 40.5 gallons per minute. We also have a standard 14 pin connector on the machine as well. And with the new functionality of the EH controls on this machine, it really lets you have all your fine, all your electrical controls through the joysticks on this machine. So it's a really nice added feature that we've done with the EH controls combined with our 14 pin connector. As you get on the machine, you'll notice we have a high back suspension seat. This suspension seat does have three height adjustments. It also has an adjustment for your spring rate for your weight. So if you turn it clockwise, it will increase the spring rate. Turn it counterclockwise, it decreases the spring rate. You have your fore and aft control on the left-hand side here, so you can move the seat forward and back. 
And then on the back of the seat back there on the left side, you'll also see it does have a tilt function as well. Um, the joysticks on this machine, again, it's a new EH uh, control machine. Those towers are adjustable fore and aft. By pushing the lever in behind the joystick, you can move those towers front and back. All of your loader functions are on the left-hand lever. I mean, all of your, sorry, all of your drive functions are on the left-hand lever, as well as your two-speed. All of your loader functions are on the right-hand lever. So all loader functions are on the right, all drive functions are on the left. When you get in the machine, you'll notice that we have a new eight inch touchscreen monitor. So the monitor, the operator can actually use the touchscreen function. We also have a jog dial, the silver dial that you see here. You can also navigate the screen using the jog dial and make sele selections using the jog dial. You'll also see that we've gotten rid of the rocker uh, switches on the machines and we've gone to a one touch uh, pad, which is um, both dust resistant and water resistant. So it's a really nice feature that we added to the machine. The first button that you see on the left, the green button, activates all of your hydraulic functions once the lap bar is down. The right hand button on top is your parking brake. Then you have your work lights, your eco mode, your wiper, your washer. You have a detent switch and the detent is for anybody running a motorized attachment that doesn't want to sit there with their thumb on the button the whole time. So if we're running a mower or a mulcher and we want continuous flow to that attachment, you simply press the detent switch and then you hold down the A button on the left joystick and that puts it into detent. And then to take it out of detent, you simply hit the left hand button or you can turn the switch off on the, on the control panel. And then the switch is the furthest, the furthest back on the control panel. You have your inhibit switch for the DPF. That should only be activated if you're working in an area with a lot of combustibles where it's a fire hazard if you go through the re regen process. So we really discourage people from pressing that unless they're in an area where it's not safe to do the regen. If you do a force regen, it's the inside button on the bottom there. In the force regen, the lap bar has to be up. The machine has to be set to idle. And then you hold that button down until you see or until you hear the RPMs on the machine begin to shift higher and lower. And then you release the button and then to do the force regen. We encourage the operator to stay inside the cab while the force regen is being done. Should take 15 to 20 minutes and they don't want to touch any controls during that regen process or to cancel the regen. Okay. We have gone to a keyless start. So there's no longer a key required to start the machine. You depress the rear button and it brings up the monitor panel. And then you hit the OK button on the monitor panel. And then it will bring up a screen with all your features. So it's got a quick view of your feature settings, your speed control, your loader arm control, uh, your rabbit mode settings for automatic uh, shifting that I mentioned earlier, as well as several other features. All of that can be updated on the monitor before you start the machine. Once your selections are, are confirmed, you simply hit the OK button at the monitor panel and then hold down the button in the rear and the machine will start. Then we can go into the screen with your settings so we can adjust the pattern. We can change the pattern through the monitor panel. We can go from ISO to H pattern. We can control the loader arm speed. So we go from low to high. So there's a low, medium and high setting. We can also adjust our track speed, low, medium and high. We can turn on the automatic load sensing two speed travel that I mentioned earlier. You can also set up your rod control as well as your um, active power control. So the active power control kind of serves as an anti-stall. So if you're a new operator or new to Takeuchi, you might want to turn that feature on. Um, guys that are familiar with Takeuchi, they may choose to turn that off and just listen to the pull down on the engine when they load the machine up and um, work it without that feature on. And then you'll also see the cold idle start. And that's a really nice feature for northern climates where it gets really cold. 
So you can turn that feature on and it'll idle until the machine's ready to be run in cold applications. Um, and then you have your engine auto stop, which you can turn on and off as well. And after a certain number of minutes with the engine sitting at idle, um, it will automatically shut the engine off. Once we've gone through and decided what settings we want, we hit the OK button. And then to start the machine, we simply hold the button in the back here down until the engine turns over and starts. Um, the cab machine does feature the overhead door. The overhead door is a great feature on Takeuchi products. We were first in the industry with that feature. That overhead door allows you to run the machine with the door open or closed. It also makes it much easier for an operator to get out of our machine should the loader arms be stuck in a certain position. You know, if they're up off the ground with a swing out door, sometimes they interfere with the step and you can't get the door open. You don't have that issue with the overhead door. You'll also notice on the cab machine, this machine comes standard with air conditioning as well as AM FM Bluetooth radio with a microphone in the cab so you can use your phone inside the cab and communicate with someone from the cab. For more information on this machine, please visit www.takeuchi-us.com or contact your local dealer for more information.